This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. The trial of former Cincinnati City Council member PG Sittenfeld is expected to continue throughout this week. Today, cross-examination of FBI Special Agent Nathan Holbrook continues. Holbrook was in charge of the sting operation against Sittenfeld. He's been on the witness stand for the past two days of court detailing that operation. Attorneys for Sittenfeld questioned Holbrook Friday about why the FBI zeroed in on Sittenfeld during its corruption probe. Holbrook did not give a concrete answer before court let out on Friday. Colbrain Township firefighters are mourning the loss of one of their own. The department announced over the weekend the sudden and untimely death of Steve Hayden. He'd worked for the department as a firefighter and paramedic since 2011, and had also served with the Springfield Township Fire Department. No word yet on funeral arrangements. Starting today in Ohio, you'll be able to renew your driver's license or state ID online. Last week, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announced new upgrades to the BMV website with more services added online so people don't have to wait in line, and there are more coming. July 11th, drivers will be able to transfer titles and take the written portion of the driver's test online. Jennifer. Today we are looking at a mostly sunny day, a lower level of humidity, and a high of 78. Yep, it's late June and we're getting treated again. This is one of those good days to open the windows, let in that fresh, free air from Mother Nature because your dew point level is lower and it's falling all day long. That tonight is going to open the door or the window if you want to look at it that way, to a nice night to open the windows. 55 for a low in the city, 50 in Connorsville, and around 58 in Dry Ridge. Coming up, though, we will break out when rain is back. 